Welcome to the Malix Minute, ladies and gentlemen, starring the Markley Brothers as Malix, Linus, and the Snuffle Fungus. I like the new theme song. I'm dancing, I'm dancing. Linus, what do you think of the new theme song? Eh, it'll do. Hey everybody, welcome to Malix Minute 123. <laughs> One, two, three. Uh, yes, Linus. Just saying. So you were. Malix! Malix! We have a house! When did you first become aware of this fact? I just checked. I checked the kitchen, the living room, the studio, the garage, the server room, my lab, your room, and my room, and my toys, and my bed, and my I- I'm gonna have to stop you there, Snuffy. I'm glad you know not to take things for granted, but I am trying to do a show here. But how is it that nothing's burned up? It's like the riding squirrels were never here. Oh, that. You're talking about when Little Red Riding Squirrel burned our house down on the 4th of July. Yeah! Ah. See, Snuffy, this is a somewhat complicated concept, but... Ah, uh, how do I put this? Such is the nature of fiction. He's cocking an eyebrow at you. It's like this. The episodes we do are fictional. Right. The places we go are generally fictional. Right. The characters we meet are generally fictional. Right. But, see, this house is fictional, too. Even we, the three of us, are fictional. I knew that. Ah, what a relief. I didn't want to disappoint you or anything. So, back to my original question. The house has a tenuous relationship with reality anyway. So if the writers want to burn it down one episode, it can still be back to normal next episode? Uh, yeah. Exactly correct. Do we have any plaster? Because you guys just knocked a hole the size of a beach ball in the fourth wall. Yeah. Sorry about the diversion, ladies and gentlemen. So anyway, I'm actually quite excited today. I'm betting from your stupid face that you're going to tell us why. I thought you'd never ask. I'm going to SIGGRAPH again this year. What? How many are you going to this year? Well, just the one. Then why did you say you were going again this year? The sneaky devil. I don't even remember him going anywhere the past six months. I didn't. At least, not to another SIGGRAPH conference. You sly dog, don't deny it. We all know you like your SIGGRAPH. You couldn't resist taking a quick sample. I haven't been to a SIGGRAPH conference since 2006. And you've been all SIGGRAPHed up, too. I should have known. Now you're just making fun of me. This is more confusing than the fiction thing. (sighs) Maybe I should have said, this year I am going to SIGGRAPH again. Does that help? Oh, that explains it. See, Linus, Malix doesn't always lie. Sometimes he's just wrong. Wonders never cease. As much as I appreciate the positive reinforcement, can I get on with the show? You're a bright lad. You'll find a way. So, this year's SIGGRAPH will be held in Los Angeles, in the heart of the American film industry. The last time I was at SIGGRAPH, it was in Boston, which was a lot of fun, but nothing like L.A. What's so special about L.A.? Uh, Didn't I just say it's at the heart of the American film industry? Yeah, but haven't you been there already? Uh, no. What? You spent all that time up in space with Ice Punk roaming around, frightening people, and self-defensing entire species to death. I just assumed you visited all the interesting places on your own planet first. Not really. Well, that's humorous. I'm glad I amuse you. Malix, why do you like SIGGRAPH? Oh, it's so amazing. It's all about the cutting edge of computer animation and special effects, as well as all sorts of new ideas about how computers and humans can interact with one another. There's an art show, a computer animation film festival, a never-ending series of talks and lectures about all the latest advances in computer graphics, simulation, and special effects. Every year, the conference attracts tens of thousands of attendees, many of whom hail from the most influential corners of every relevant industry. Companies like Pixar, Industrial Light and Magic, Disney, Rhythm and Hues, and the list goes on. Malix, geeking out is one thing, but seriously, come up for air. And besides, one of the featured speakers this year is Ed Catmull. Kitty? The, what? Not cat. It's Catmull. Oh, I thought you said Catmull. Ed Catmull co-founded Pixar Animation Studios and was a pioneer in computer graphics before the field existed. Oh, so he's not a kitty. Not by my reasoning, no. Are you okay, Snufflefungus? You seem a bit more giddy than usual today. I'm just happy we got the house back, that's all. Okay, well, I guess that's all we have time for, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks so much for listening, and we hope you'll join us again next week for the next Malix Minute. Today's episode is copyright 2008 by Alex Markley. This was a production of the Malix Media Network. Please visit us online at malixminute.com for production credits, extras, and a complete archive of classic episodes. God bless and have a great day. You and your ways and 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 your face.